弗吉尼亚州哈里森县的一座城市，位于该州的中北部。Clarksburg 成立于一七八五年，是以将军乔治·罗杰斯·克拉克的名字命名的。他在印第安人战争和美国革命期间，对英国人和印第安人进行了多次远征。在这里，我们可以看到这个山城的秀美景色。这里有许多历史建筑。很多丰富的建筑风格可以追溯到美国内战前，一定要花点时间在这个历史悠久、市中心的西大街和 Pike 街拍照。一八二四年，托马斯·杰克逊（又名 Stonewall Jackson） 出生在法院对面。大街上的一个房子里 ，Stonewall Jackson 的雕像位于法院正前方，同时还有移民雕像，描绘了该地区人口的多样性，同时向帮助建立这一区域的移民致敬。这座城市为他的意大利背景感到无比自豪。每年在美国劳动节九月份的时候，都会举办意大利文化遗产节。在开车去杰克逊模仿之前，我们决定在 Stonewall 咖啡馆停下来买杯咖啡。它就在法院旁边的巷道里。好的抹茶。杰克逊的某方有被收藏在美国国家历史遗迹名录里，这是一个保存完好的早期格里斯特某方，是 Stonewall 杰克逊童年的家。这个魔方是由爱德华·杰克逊上校，一位革命战争人物，最初于19世纪在 West Fork River 建立了这座魔方。爱德华死后，他的儿子康明斯·杰克逊接管了这里的一切。这个木屋是很老的。被烧毁，烧毁到无法修复的地步。一八二六年，他的兄弟乔纳森·杰克逊死于伤寒，他的一双很努力的养活他们的两个孩子托马斯和劳拉，但是生活非常艰难。于是，在一八三零年，他把托马斯和劳拉托付给了他的叔叔汤米斯·杰克逊。自那以后，托马斯和劳拉就居住在这里。托马斯一直住在这里，直到一八四二年，他离开了这里，去了西点军校。距离 Clarksburg 市中心约三十英里，是一个叫 w i s t o n 的小镇。西弗吉尼亚州的美国玻璃博物馆就坐落在这里。
该博物馆收藏的玻璃系列始于19世纪，一直延续到现在。它包括大约2万个不同类型的美国玻璃制品，例如我们常用的生活用品、杯子、盘子、碗等。这里也陈列着 Lady Jane 的玻璃娃娃屋。为了更好了解这个地区，我们会见了 Tina， 她是当地城市的旅游主管，让我们来问她一些问题吧。So go ahead and introduce yourself, please. Sure, I'm Tina Yoke, and I'm the executive director of the Clarksburg Visitors Bureau. Uh huh. So, um, how long have you um been living in this area? I've lived in this area for 53 years.、Wow. My whole life, I've lived and here. And you were born and raised in this area, yes. right? Yes, born and raised in this area, probably just two miles away from here. Uh -huh. uh, and I lived in the same house for 50 years,、wow. and recently moved out just out of the city limits.、Uh -huh. I know there are a lot of history in this、um, area, right? Can you please tell me a bit more about it? Uh, there's a lot of history that I'm still learning about,、uh -huh. but there is a lot of history about the Civil War. We have a lot of historic buildings, but then also the, what history I'm a little more familiar with is the history of、um, immigrants coming to West Virginia、mm -hmm. to work in the coal mines or to work in the glass factories. In fact, my grandfather came from Spain、wow. um, over, you know, to our area. He was just a child then, but he did end up working in in the glass factory and.、Mm -hmm. and um, So there is a lot of people who came to West Virginia to work.、Wow. So, like for、um, visitors,、um, are there any places you would recommend them to see?、Uh, we're actually getting in the process of publishing a walking tour map. There are、mm -hmm. plenty of historical houses and buildings just within walking distance of downtown Clarksburg.、Uh -huh. um, so. Uh, I don't have a lot of them, you know, memorized, <laughs> but there there are definitely places within walking distance for historical tours. Okay, so um, I know um the Confederate General Stonewall Jackson is from here,、yes. and what are the、uh, what do local people feel about you him? You know, whether you liked him or didn't like him, it is a strong part of our history. Exactly, and I do know that people travel, you know, from all over parts of the United States to come and see his birthplace and. In his history.、Um, yeah. So this, like, are there any local、uh, cuisine from this area? Like,、uh -oh. what do people like to, you know, eat? Yeah. So really good Italian food. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs>、uh, we have our share of different Italian restaurants, and I, you know, some of the foods that we have here aren't popular in other parts, and some people haven't even heard of them, like the pepperoni roll. Uh huh. And I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it started when the coal miners. Went to work. They needed something to eat, so they would take some Italian bread and they take pepperoni,、mm -hmm. um, and have the pepperoni rolls. And we are actually very fortunate to have at least three、um, places right here in Clarksburg that make delicious pepperoni rolls. Wow.、Um, since you mentioned the coal miners and such, so are there any like、um, coal miner factories where visitors can go and、um, 
check it out? Or? No, there's not, <laughs> but we actually have a history museum, and I'll give you the information. It's just down the street, uh -huh. uh, so it has information about the different coal mines and then just the strong history that's here in, in the Clarksburg area. Okay. You could sp spend hours actually touring our Clarksburg History Museum. Uh huh. So what um what's the local people like in this area? Like very friendly. <laughs> uh, uh huh. They look out for one of n another. I think that you know when you walk down the street, people will stop and talk to strangers. Uh, we welcome outsiders. We welcome visitors. Um, we like to hear the stories from other people, and we certainly like to tell our stories to visitors. Yeah. That's my friend over there. <laughs> I have, he, he'll nice. stand there and wave and tell. I see. Wow. His name is Nate, and everybody in Clarksburg knows Nate. So are there like um, restaurants around this area you would uh, recommend personally? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. What are those restaurants? Um, if you, so for Italian food, there uh -huh. is Menards, there's the Caboose, there's Julio's Cafe uh -huh. in Glen Elk. Um, Heart Kitchen Eatery is a fine dining establishment here in downtown. Uh -huh. My mother's daughter, which is just across the street, oh, I've never wow. had a bad meal from there. Uh, we also have a wonderful cozy coffee shop just across on the other side of that building called Stonewall Coffee. Uh huh. So Interesting name. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> we have a lot of things named after that. So <laughs> yeah, are there um, any like state parks around here to say? Yeah, we have it's in Harrison County. It's called uh -huh. Watersmiths Park, yes. and it has some great hiking trails and biking trails. Uh huh. Uh, so we're fortunate to have one right here in Harrison County, but then there are also. Uh, several within a one hour to two hour of driving distance. Well, like most okay. people, whenever they um, think or hear of West Virginia, they they always um, know, you know, John Danvers song on yes. time West Virginia. <laughs> Wherever right? you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. I, um, I feel like there there's so much more into West Virginia, you know, like what, what are the things that people should know about West Virginia? There is so much more, exactly. You know, we're, we're very well-educated people. Uh -huh. uh, we have plenty of job opportunities. Our tourism industry has just really expanded. So, like, in the winter, you know, since right now we're in the winter season, like, are there um, places to ski nearby? Yes, yes. Yeah. We have Canaan Valley, we have Timberland. Timberline, and that's only again like two hours away from here. Uh -huh. uh, and then in those towns where those ski resorts are, there's real cute shops uh -huh. and restaurants and places to go to hear live music um, and have some craft beer or some I homemade ice cream. Uh, so there's plenty to do even while you're skiing. You can you know go into the community and and have plenty of activities. Mm -hmm. And I know like um, in this state, like um, you can go out and shoot a deer, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I yes. heard. Yeah, you know, for like <clears throat> for me, um, for example, like most Chinese people, they can't really shoot um, a deer in China. Yeah. Or, you know. Are there many? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. that may be, yeah, that's interesting. So are there, um, you know, any like um, places to shoot deer around here or? Um, there are certain places that you can hunt uh -huh. and you have to have a license. Oh, okay. And there's only certain times. So there's only certain place you, places you can okay. and you have to have a license and there's only certain times that you can. And okay. then there's times when you can with a gun uh, and then times when you can with a bow and arrow. Okay, but you can't go with um, others, right? If you don't have a license, you can go and uh, still have the experience with um, others if they go. Uh, um, I, but I would recommend, you know, <laughs> for safety too, to get your license and to go through the training, uh, you know, the hunter safety training that uh -huh. they offer. So uh -huh. that that is the big thing here in West Virginia, right? Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's really a good thing that there is hunt, uh, deer season because we do have a very large population. So uh -huh. be careful when you drive because they they can run out into the road into your vehicles and such. So uh -huh. it is good to help thin out the population, and then it also provides a pretty healthy source of of food uh -huh. <laughs> for people too. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So like um. 
I know you mentioned that you haven't seen much of uh, international visitors here, right? Right. right. Like, uh, is there anything you want to say, like, to you know, international visitors? That like, we welcome you. <laughs> <laughs> we would love. We would love international visitors to come. Uh-huh. We'd love them to come to West Virginia. We'd love them to come home to Clarksburg. Uh, there's a lot here, and I do think we might get a bad rap as far as you know what there is to do, uh-huh. uh, but we do welcome people from all over to come. <laughs> Sounds good. 离博物馆不远的地方是 Trans Allegheny Lunatic 精神病院，这将是我们在 Gaddy 区停留的最后一站。它于1864年至1994年期间运行。它是由 Baltimore 建筑师 Richard Snowden Andrews 设计的哥特和 d u z e r 式复兴风格。建于一八五八年至一八八一年，最初设计的是容纳两百五十人，但在二十世纪五十年代变得拥挤不堪，最多时有两千四百名患者。后来，由于管理精神病人以及治疗的法律发生了变化，这所精神病院于一九九四年关闭。我能想象那些被关在笼子里的灵魂，在寒冷的夜晚叫喊，在厚厚的墙壁上爬行。想到在这个黑暗的庇护所里住上一晚，我都忍不住发抖。在参观精神病院时，我们没有看到太奇怪的东西，但当我们坐在长椅上，我们看到门口的灯在夜幕中时开时关，持续了无数个小时。我带着复杂的情绪离开了这里。不管你是喜欢这座建筑，还是被它所困住的灵魂吓得半死，它都已成为历史的尘埃。如果你喜欢这个视频，请点赞和订阅，感谢观看，我们下次见。